Did As I go through my daily commissions, I think it's time that I talk way. about why why I was awake for 24 hours. In fact, I was actually awake for over Take 24 it hours. And it all started yesterday when I woke up at 7.30 in the morning, 30 minutes before my alarm went off for 8 o'clock because I had work at 10 a.m. It was a fine morning. The sun has started to peer out. Springtime is starting to come in. Days are starting to get longer. It was a pretty decent day. A little bit chilly, but it is what it is for, a can for, for Canada, you know, and even my part of Canada, but it was fine. That being said, I had work. In fact, I had three shifts that day to deal with. And my first one started at 10 a.m. Scheduled to go until 2 p.m. Fortunately enough, the, that gig was pretty easy in the morning. Um, I ended up leaving at 1 p.m. an hour earlier than uh, what was scheduled. It was all good. So I was able to head home, have a decent lunch of Japanese curry. Things were going into a great start and I was hoping that would continue for my next two shifts. Shift numero 2 gotcha. was a shift from 6 p.m. to 9, uh, 10 p.m. And I was filling in for some people that had gotten sick for a show run. So I didn't actually know anything about the show. I was just asked if I could fill in if I was available. I asked, I made sure that it would end right at 10 because my third shift that day was a shift that would have start, that started at 10.30. So I only had 30 minutes to get from gotcha. one location to the next. And I was reassured that it would. So I filled in for that sh for that show. Um, I had no information about the show, so I just walked into the venue, completely empty, lights turned on, everything left on. I was alone, and in the middle of the stage, and actually, I shouldn't say stage, uh, in the middle of the room, because the, the, the venue wasn't like a traditional theater space where it had like a raised stage, it was all just ground level, but in the middle of the room was a noose dangling in the center. It's white, the white rope drawing everyone, drawing your attention because the rest of the room was either a dark wooden color or black. And I was alone in that room with only that there with no information on what I needed to do. Kind of ominous, I dare say, and maybe a bit of a metaphor to how my day would end up, but it was fine because I did have instructions to go over and it ended up being a pretty cool, good show. It was like people with British accents were the performers, had a little bit of jokes here and there, even though the topic and the subject matter was actually quite serious. A very good ending because it let the audience kind of draw in their own conclusions on whether or not the person that was trying to commit actually committed or if they were saved at the last second it, it was kind of left to your own device to kind of decide what the outcome was so i thought it was a really good play and that ended right on time or actually in fact it, we ended early uh but because i needed to uber to my next location uh waiting for my uber ended up taking me to like my end time but it was still okay because i thought that with only 30 minutes to get from one from my second shift to my third shift i would not have time to eat a proper meal and so I had brought like these fruit bars to kind of compensate. Totally not enough. Like I thought I was going to be like suffering for realsies. But thankfully I was able to grab like a slice of pizza and everything was great. Crisis averted. I was, I, I had food in my stomach and I was able to go into my third shift not feeling too bad. Um, my third shift of the day was a shift that I was scheduled to do from 10.30 p.m. until 4 a.m. <laughs> Now, if things were to play out as it was scheduled, I would have probably gone to sleep at six and I would have only been awake for, oh, 22 and a half hours instead of over the 24 I ended up uh, staying. Unfortunately for me, that schedule got completely thrown out the door uh, because this third shift was for the loadout of a con concert from a Chinese artist called Joker Jue. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it properly or whatever, um, but we were the first city of the tour. And so the organization was completely non-existent. Um, in our in our arena previously, just before this one, uh, we I did the loadout for Madonna. She had almost 40 trucks and we managed to like finish that within like five six hours this concert nine trucks nine trucks and i was still working at 6 a.m in fact i actually asked to like leave early because i had other responsibilities and whatnot so i left at six i was i was given permission to leave early job not finished there was like two or three more trucks still to load by 6 a.m it was absolutely ridiculous um by 6 a.m trains transits already running so i was able to transit back home save a little bit of money instead of taking like a taxi or whatever got home before 7 a.m there was no way i was not taking a shower before going to bed irregardless of, of things so i took a shower and 
I don't like going to sleep right after taking a shower, and I made sure I took like a nice hot shower, but I don't like going to bed like right after taking a shower, and I still needed to brush my teeth. So I did the same thing and went on Facebook to talk to a couple of my friends that were just waking up to go to work. And I was like, I haven't gone to sleep yet, and had a little bit of a conversation before calling it a night. And um, I went to bed at 8 a.m. So I was actually awake for about 24 and a half hours before going to sleep. The only problem was is that because I thought I was only going to work until 4 a.m., I scheduled to meet up with my parents at 11 a.m. to go to co do a Costco run. So my mom woke me up at noon. Uh, my parents have like spare keys to my place as like a extra precaution or whatever. Um, so my mom like actually went into like actually like woke me up, like physically like shook me and like was ta like telling me to get up. And I was like, uh, uh. So yeah, I ended up having a hot dog and fries for breakfast from Costco, and uh, I feel like absolute garbage right now. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, that that that's uh that's that's how hard I was working yesterday. I'm I am I am I am a complete goner right now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that that's my story for today.